Hello, coolers. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with this report claiming that Barcelona are not planning to make any big signings in the winter transfer market. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about this report claiming that Barcelona are eyeing a bossman move for this Belgian midfielder, Yuri Tillemans, as Frankie de Jong replacement. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, before we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch the video right up to the very end. Barcelona's posting director, Matteo Alemani, laid out a clear plan for the team's transfer strategy during the club's general assembly this past weekend. The 59-year-old explained that they will continue to look for the top three agents in the 2023 and ever since, names such as Diogo Dalot, N'Golo Kante and Marcos Asensio have been linked with Barcelona. But why these names will only be available during the next transfer window, the team is not really looking to strengthen the roster in January, says journalist Edu Polo. He adds that Barcelona plan to have a quiet winter market, meaning there will, that there will be no immediate signings unless it becomes a necessity. The initial idea is to have a quiet winter market. There is no forecast of any bombing except for some injury or unexpected departure, Polo told the, the report. It must be remembered that Barcelona were one of the busiest clubs during the previous transfer market. The injuries gathering steam, the team was forced to enter the market and acquire the likes of Adama Traore from Wolves, Ferran Torres from Manchester City and pierre Mirko Bameyang from Arsenal in the last winter transfer window. As it turns out, the likes of Traore, who was on loan, and Aubameyang were only temporary solutions. The former returned to his parent club ahead of the ongoing season, while Aubameyang was sold to Chelsea. So for now, there is no such plan in place for the upcoming market. Xavi is satisfied with the squad at hand, and as long as there are no unexpected injuries and departures, Barcelona will walk through the window rather quietly. So far this season, Barcelona have lost some key defenders through injury. This includes Ronald Araujo and new signing Jules Kunde. Both players picked up respective injuries during the international break. And uh, while Kunde is close to making a comeback, Araujo won't be available at least until the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. This probably means Barcelona might look for a defender if the problem continues to persist, with Inigo Martinez of Athletic Club being on, linked with Barcelona for a long time. If not, one can expect Barca to go through the January window without any headline signing like earlier this year. It doesn't come as a surprise that Barca won't plant or won't go for any player in the month of January when the winter transfer window will open. Um, as I said, we have a good squad already, but now we talk about a lot of injuries that keep um, disturbing, especially in the defense where we have suffered a lot of injury with some key players. That might just only be the reason why Barca might step in in the January transfer market next year to to look for another defender maybe to strengthen the squad to ensure that the depth is still there despite the injuries and unlike that Barcelona are okay with what they have at hand Javi according to reports is okay with the squad except the need arises maybe another injury comes or whatever that's the only situation where Barca can contemplate on going for another player in the month of January of course during the summer you know, the summer transfer window, we were one of the busiest clubs, if not the busiest club among Europe, and we did make one of the best signings. We we brought in some quality players, and of course, had it not been for some injury problems, if everybody was fit, like prior to the first international break that took place last month, I think Barca could have not been worried about qualification of Champions League knockout stages like what we do now, because honestly speaking, when we critically look at the way we have been performing, after the international break, we have not really been at our best. So it is very imperative for us to keep grinding out the results as soon as possible because this is a month where we have a lot of matches to play. October is not a month to smile. 
as the World Cup starts late next month, we just have to start playing those games, trying to win them. That is why Xavi was really emphasizing on having a good squad depth because it helps a lot, in, especially in, in times like this where there's a packed schedule and we need to win games, you know, it's very, very important. So the January transfer market as it stands right now is not a necessity for Barcelona. We might not even buy any player as this report is claiming except otherwise things are looking desperate for us when it comes to injuries and Xavi wants more depth because of more matches that still needs to be played um, apart from that i don't think barcelona will really prioritize going for players in the general transfer because a lot of the transfers we've been talking about lately are all plans for next summer transfer window not even the general transfer window so let's just see how things look like as it goes on as the year comes to an end how Barcelona keep performing and let's see how it's gonna look like. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, Barcelona might have held on the services of Frankie de Jong this past summer, but if a report from sport is to be believed, the club will once again be open to selling the Dutchman next year should a big offer arrive. The Catalans could rely on the economic levers to bail them out of trouble this past summer um but we'll likely need a big big sale next year to compete strongly in the transfer markets such a situation would invariably cast the spotlight on the young who remains one of the club's most marketable assets furthermore given that he has lost his starting breath in javi's plans the blaugrana would be open to the possibility of cashing in on him if a huge offer arrives for the netherlands international who continues to be on the radars of Manchester United. And as per the aforementioned report, in such a scenario, Barcelona would ideally look to replace De Jong with Leicester City midfielder Yuri Tielemans. The idea of the Catalan Giants with regards to the transfer is to sell for a very high price and find a player of similar attributes and quality for a bargain price. And they believe that Tielemans fits the bill perfectly. The 25-year-old Belgian international is in the final year of his contract with Leicester City and has already refused to sign a new deal there, meaning he will be on the market as a free agent come summer. And Barcelona wants to capitalize on that situation by swooping in for the former RSC Anderlecht and AS Monaco A's. The report further indicates that the Blaugrana have been impressed by the levels shown by Tillemans in the Premier League and see him as an ideal fit in the zero roles in midfield. However, several Premier League clubs including Liverpool are said to be interested in Tillemans, which would mean that Barca will have to act swiftly if they wish to land the Belgian. It is claimed that there have already been initial contacts between Barcelona and the midfielders and Turach, with the club acquiring information about his situation. Talks have not progressed beyond that at the moment, although the months of November and December are seen as crucial for any further developments. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.